I don't know if I like my hair in this video, but whatever lah, like this, like this lah. What are you gonna do? You wanna show me this? Like that lah. Like that lah. Like that lah. Nate Karge or Karg, I don't know, sorry, uh, asked me to react to Flash Killer by Phineas. They are a Christian metal band that he started to get into fairly recently. So let's go. I tend to forget to turn the camera this side. 3, 2, 1. to Nate uh, Karke, Kar, I don't know, for suggesting that I enjoyed that a lot. I like the video also. Uh, I, to be honest, I did not really get the story of the video, you know, like with the clips that were like in between, like with the fire and stuff. I didn't get it, but I like it. It was cool. It was such a nice song. I mean, okay, to be honest, I've heard of Phineas before. I've heard their songs before, you know. I like the songs that I've heard so far. And I can say that I so far I've liked all the songs I've listened to and this is definitely one of it. I just love how... Okay, I have a thing 
for bands that can make melodic but also heavy because like the thing is i love heavy music obviously even if it's not melodic i don't mind as long as i like it but i also really appreciate it because it must be hard to like walk that line of like heavy but also melodic but also heavy and also include stuff like breakdowns and stuff like that like it's just so nice to know that like there's so much that goes into making this kind of music you know like how do they write such beautiful melodic stuff while also having like harsh vocals over it and stuff like that i don't know that's just how i think about it which is definitely like it can definitely rule out what people you know like people who don't listen to metal they say it's just noise and all that no there's a lot of beauty that goes into a lot of it especially like when it's something like melodic but also heavy you know i feel like people who don't listen to metal they don't know that metal can also be melodic can also be even symphonic <laughs> can be all those things so yeah thank you phineas for that song uh about the video like <laughs> this is so random but do you guys ever wonder if it's, if it's weird or like much awkward you know for like the singers or the band to like pretend that they're playing while they're filming i don't know because i have made my own music videos before and just recording myself lip syncing is weird and i like the lead singer's hair nice hair oops nice hair bro so from the lyrics i basically i think that this song is just about asking god to help us to leave our old life behind leave our fleshy self fleshy self leave our flesh behind and follow him and be alive in the spirit that's what i get from me i guess that's why it's called flesh killer in verse one it says replace my eyes with your fire to burn through the curses leave nothing that could hinder your blinding light so i think that's basically like asking god for guidance asking god for guidance to follow him and taking away anything that could prevent us from following him in the pre-chorus it says test me in the furnace of affliction refine me as you wish when the die is cast ble breathe in me your animating spark wow i love that because i feel like we always ask god to like guide us and stuff and and in in a way guide us to things that are good and things that we want but i think something that we don't usually ask for and i think we never ask for is to ask god to to refine us to test us you know i think that's something special in this song because i think usually when we ask for like god to to uh, when we ask to but like be reborn in god for god to come and change us we usually mean that as in like something good or like something that we think is good but I think sometimes that we forget that some of that, some like like part of the process is also God refining you and testing you somehow. And because I remember I read in the book of James, last time I think it's in James chapter 1, it says that the testing of our faith de develops perseverance. God has the test of faith. Anyone can say they follow God. Do they really? You know, that's why we have to be tested. Not because God hates us, but because He loves us and He wants... And He wants us... <laughs> Macha discipline lah, like your dad also discipline you kan. Sorry but well, I don't know, I feel a bit uptight. I need to like loosen up, you know. Macam, I feel so long I haven't filmed this one. Oh and yes, my camera is back. Hallelujah. <laughs> Finally I'm filming with my camera. And it's basically I think from the pre-chorus, it's just basically asking God to test us and to refine us. Which is a scary thing to ask, you know, because you know oh, I talk about something other one. You know today got praying and this downstairs. Anyway, so la like, like I think that's the scary part, you know, knowing that part of accepting Christ into your life is the fact that you have to leave your old life behind. That is something scary, that is something none of us want to do. But it is worth it. It is hard, which is why you don't do it by yourself. <laughs> There's a reason why God is there to help you. That's, a, that's the reason why God gives you the Holy Spirit inside you to convict you, to guide you. You know, you can't do it by yourself. <laughs> you think you can do it by yourself? No. You really think you can follow God by yourself? No. You need God's guidance to follow God and He is there to give it to you. So I find that very special in the song in the pre-chorus is asking God to refine us, to change us. Because I think a lot of us, a lot of the times when we choose to follow God, we want to follow God but also stay the same. You got what I mean? I feel like a lot of us are like that. I also was like that. I didn't even realize I was like that but I was like that, you know. And it came to a point where I realized, hey, maybe I'm not born again, you know. Because being born again, it means being born again. <laughs> you're not the same you, you can't you can't follow what you used to be you can't be what you used to be anymore once you follow god and if you truly want to follow god then you truly want to leave your life behind and it's hard but it's worth it because what god has for you and what god has planned for you is so much better than anything you could plan speaking from experience i also love how it says breathe in me your animating spa which I guess is asking God to breathe a new life a new life into you or maybe breathe a new life into you that wants to follow him. 
like gives you a spark to follow him and now to the chorus i won't flinch when the earth gives away so take me now it's not my blood to bleed wow i feel like this verse this verse pula eh, chorus this chorus i feel like it's just a, I, i feel like it's just talking about how we should not be scared of death because Because death is not something we should be scared about. Death is something that we're all going to go through. And a lot of people fear. A lot of people don't know what happens after they die. A lot of people fear that. Because death is a scary thing. You know, leaving this earth, what's going to come next? But for us, we should have no fear of death. Because we know that once we die, we'll be reunited, reunited with God and we'll be with Jesus forever. It's not my blood to bleed. I love that line. I guess it means that It's just us knowing that we're going back to God and it's not it, like we're not losing anything like we're losing our life on earth but our life wasn't truly ours it belonged to God and it's that letting go and knowing that you're not losing anything you always had a life in God at least how that's uh, how I interpret that line it's not my blood to bleed I love that line I love like that I don't know why I just love that line I don't know if that's how they intention intended it to be but that's how I interpret so I cry out the last word is yours to speak I love that surrendering you know I feel like that that whole chorus is about death and about you know the end of our life like surrendering that all to God we're all gonna die one day isn't it weird I sometimes I think about that we sometimes when are we gonna die how is you know how is that You know, but I know that there's nothing for me to be afraid of because I'm just going back to my father in heaven. You know, that there's nothing to be afraid of. There's so much even more waiting for me after my, after I die than compared to this earth. If there are a lot of things that I can have for this earth, I can't imagine how many things I can have in heaven. It will be so much better than on earth. So I have nothing to be afraid of. And that's why we should just surrender it to God. We have every reason to surrender it to God. The last word is his to speak. We have nothing to be afraid of. Even death Jesus has con- conquered and because Jesus has conquered death we also have because we are children of God we are covered by the blood of Christ we have Christ in us we do not need to fear death and i think in verse 2 is talking about how he wants God to help him speak the way God wants him to speak and say the things that God God wants him to say and just breathe into his lungs a passion that strangles corruption so i guess that means a passion for god a passion for the gospel which is something that i really want god to do also every time before i film also i ask for god to speak to me and also every day almost every day i try i try to remember to like even when i eat my breakfast i've made this a habit already <laughs> like i just pray so that everything i do today will glorify god it's just a simple thing to us but i really hope that everything i do every word i say actions that I do how I treat people when I go out and even the videos like this it can bring glory to God somehow and the bridge flesh killer disease has no grasp upon your reign flesh killer prison cells won't contain your life I love that line that reminds me of the what is that the story of Paul Paul was it Paul and Silas or was it just Paul I haven't read the story in a long time you know the story in the prison where like he started singing praises to God and then the gates open was it Paul it was Paul right I don't know, that just reminded me of it, you know, prison cells, even in prison, in the story, it still couldn't contain God's light. So, what about in our life? How can God's light be contained? Unless we want it to, which we should not. If we really want God's glory to be revealed in our life, He will reveal it, if we let Him, and if we surrender to Him. And I've chosen to surrender to Him the best that I can, even in my weaknesses, even in my human nature. You know, it is hard to submit. It is hard to let go of your fears. Fear is a big thing. I think we all have fears. I do also. It's very hard to let go of those things. It's hard to let go of your pride. It's hard to let go. And uh, but I really hope that. And I think this aligns with the song also. It's like I've been made new, and I can trust that God is working in me to bring glory to Him, and to hopefully bring others to Him to shine out the light. God's light through me. And all that that's left is to surrender, which is something that we should do. It's very hard, but if we surrender and trust God, he will reveal his glory in us. Period. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy. Sorry if it's much up short or much up actually not sorry if it's short. Uh, my videos is so long cut. Also if I'm talking quietly, it's because I'm back in Kuching. It's back I'm back in my hometown with my family and they don't know I have a YouTube channel. So uh I think you can tell if I'm back in my hometown because I'm speaking more quietly. So yeah, that's just it.
Christian music does a replace redeem. I was sick for like one week and now I'm better. So I feel so much happier and I can make videos. It feels so long since I filmed a Metal Monday. Actually, it's not that long, but I feel long. Wow, look at this guy. If you are so attracted the camera. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. I'm so excited though. My camera the balit I got my camera back, sis. I mean I could film with my phone. Tapi macam you know your phone macam it's not enough quality, just ain't the same, you know? And also much I'm overheating la always it gets so hot. And look at my so yeah, I'm gonna go now. God bless your day, your week, your month, your year, your life. God bless you, new families. Don't forget the Lord Jesus Christ loves you very much. And I'm hungry. And I'm gonna eat KFC. Yes! Yeah, I'm gonna eat KFC. Because my auntie tapau KFC. And I'm excited. Because who doesn't get excited about KFC? Honey. Come on. The same way how no one... Who, who will not get excited about chocolate? Come on. Unless you don't like chocolate, then we can't be friends. I'm better now. Also, I don't have the mood to scold you today. I still think you owe me a better date than the 7 11 date. I'll scold you about that in the next video because I just. I just don't have the mood. I don't always have the mood to talk to you, lah, okay? Like, I don't know why you think that. I always want to talk to you. Like, you are the one always talking to me. No, yeah. No, yeah. You know, yesterday my best friend told me, kan? She saw you stalking me at the McD. I was just passing by, lah. I wasn't gonna tap out anything or so, but she saw you stalking me. Why didn't you? I thought you found someone new. Oh, you told me that day. Oh, meow, I got a new girlfriend. I, um, I don't care about you anymore. <laughs> Who's the one who's stalking me now? I mean, I already said I don't want to get back together with you. Like, what's your problem? Well, you want me to, you want me to echo the words of Taylor Swift? We are never, ever. You want me to say? We're never getting back together. And that's on period. Period also star. What? Huh? Not <laughs> here. Yeah. What? Can you like talk louder? Oh yeah, that's right. Because I can't hear what you say. Because you're silent. You know why? Because I silenced you. I blocked you. Blocked in real life. So get out. The door is there. The door is there, honey. Get out. I already, like, closed the door on you in my life. So, like, I don't know. What's your problem? Oh, yeah. See, I had a new girlfriend. Like, I don't care. She's pretty, so... What's her name? Rachel. Nice name. Yeah, go be with Rachel. I don't know why you keep on stopping me. Like, I already moved on from you. What's the problem? Oh, <laughs> please. <laughs> why would I tell you if I found someone new? It's oh, because you told me. I, that means I also have to tell you if I find someone new. Please, la, come on, lah. It's not your. You know uh, Kimberly from secondary school? Yeah. I thought her ex was crazy. But my ex is. Um, mm, I don't even know what to say. You just have to learn that some things are just over. Okay, like, yeah, I, no, I don't want to talk about it right now, okay? Like, we've already talked about this. Okay, it's all done. It was a toxic relationship. No, sorry. It wasn't a toxic relationship, it was a toxic person. I didn't say anything. So yeah. Like we're done. Come on. I think Rachel is calling you. You have to go. Come on. <laughs> I need you. I need you. I need to like put a microphone here and put a loudspeaker to the whole world. This guy just said I need help. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Disconnected from reality lah, bro. I said bro, you know what that means? It means go. Get out of my life. Block. Block in real life. 
I mean, if you're trying to stress me out, it's not exactly working. I'm just annoying. Annoying. And don't expect me to tell you lah if I find someone new because it's not like your business. You have your time. Okay, just go and treat her right. But everything is done with me. Okay, like we had a nice two weeks together. Okay, like I know you were ready to propose and all that, but I mean, chin chin pun boleh juga. Apa tu? Super safe. I didn't say anything. Oh, I am the one who is rushing into things. <laughs> Says the one who wanted to propose. <sighs> Unbelievable. No, no date. Oh, come on, lah. You're not gonna cheat on your new girlfriend with me. Okay, you're not gonna do that. Actually, I ha I'm not surprised if you want to do that because you're just that level of, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's you. Oh, now you're insulted. Nice! What, you think I said that to make you smile? Is it? I think, you think I made that? You think I said that to make you feel good and like post on Instagram with a nice caption of an OTD? No! Of course I said that to insult you because you're stupid. You know, some people just can't, can't get a message in. One of those people is you. I said we're done. No, I don't want the ring! I just don't want anything to do with you anymore, okay? Like, can I just go? Like, can you just, I don't know, move on? Or maybe if you cannot move on, at least let me move on lah, please. Like, come on lah. There's a certain level of respect. There's a certain level of boundaries that you don't know about. That you can't seem to see. And until you mature, Enough? I'm not gonna talk to you. You don't even have to apologize for what you did wrong. It's fine. We talked about it. It's done. It's ended. I don't need apologies if you don't want it. It's uh, fine. I just want to go. I don't want, no, it's fine. Keep the ring, keep the Polaroids, keep everything. Just go. Because up here, you're gone. In here, you are gone. You don't get it? There's no more place for you in my life. So go. He found someone. So go. Because I'm gone. I am so gone. Okay, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Dude, I, I really thought I wasn't going to do that. I thought I was just going to go. I, I didn't want to talk to you, but since you... Since you, okay, I'm gonna go now. This is so long already. You like me out? Just let me go. <laughs> no. Until you say I look good today, even though I don't. But say I look good. Thank you. Oh, you like my hair? Thank you. Oh, you like my specs? Girl, I'm a little bit busy. Okay, <laughs> girl. Eh, I already said my outro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My one last thing. Yeah, pasti. Yeah. Uh.